Hello everybody, welcome back to the table. Today we are looking at an update to the Gordon Pocket Knife from Harbor Freight. The original Gordon Challenger has been a very popular knife that has been on sale for years now and it looks like some of the specs have been recently updated. So we are going to compare this new version of the Gordon knife to the prior model and decide whether it's an upgrade, downgrade, or something in between. So looking at the knife in its packaging, the most obvious differences are immediate. So first, this newer version of the knife states that it runs on ball bearings. That sounds like a solid upgrade. Also looking at the blade, we have lost the partial serrations. So for many, that alone might be a compelling reason to upgrade. And before even opening the package, I want to clear up a falsehood on the packaging. I seem to recall the original knife having the same mistake. The blade length is advertised as 3.6 inches. This is absolutely false. So let me pull out a knife with a 3.6 inch blade. So this here is the Bradley alias. Holding them side by side, you can see the difference. The Gordon knife has a blade with a cutting edge of a little over three inches in length. And one more thing I noticed about this knife before even opening it, the way these are packaged, you can see the lockup on the liner lock in store before purchasing it. I always look through the rack and I try to choose a knife that has the best lockup possible, you know, not too early, not too late. But while looking at this knife inside profile, I noticed something was a bit off. The thumb stud closer to the packing looks like it's a bit tweaked. And every single one of these, of more than a dozen on the rack at my local Harbor Freight, all had this same issue. So once we open it, we're going to find out if it, that was just an optical illusion or if something is really wrong with the thumb studs here. So I'm also spying a few other small details we can compare between the new and the original models here as well. But let's get this knife opened first. So for two knives that are essentially the same model, there are quite a few differences between them, enough to get my knife nerd senses tingling. But first off, just like I mentioned, a big downer on this one is that the thumb studs are in fact tweaked. And since every knife in my store was like this, there was at least one shipment of these knives that have had this defect. And for a sub $10 knife, I think decent quality control is probably one of the first things to fall by the wayside. So shame on that, but let's move on. First, I want to talk about the features of this new model that are, in my opinion, upgrades over the older Gordon Challenger. First, of course, being the ball bearings. The action on bearings is really nice. It flips very nicely and the action is crisp. And comparing the two models, the flipper tab itself, take a look at it. It looks a little bit redesigned to be a little larger and more robust. Either way, it still works fine. The second upgrade here is that the blade, of course, like, like I said, it's now non-serrated. So this is more of a matter of taste, but I find a plain edge knife easier to sharpen and to touch up. So both blades are still 8CR13 MOV, so no changes there. And that is it for upgrades as far as I'm concerned. So now let's take a look at what we are losing from the original Gordon Challenger. First, we have lost the jimping on the blade. So we still have some jimping on the frame of the knife, but that last little bit of grippiness on the thumb ramp does make a difference. So sad face there. And second, while we are looking at the blade, we lost the original stone wash blade finish for a plain satin grind. I imagine the satin finish is probably cheaper to mass produce, but I do like how a stone washed finish on a blade does a good job at hiding blemishes and marks. And so maybe this is just a matter of preference though. Third downgrade is gonna be a small one, but looking at the overall weight of the knife, the original is slightly lighter at three and a half ounces versus 3.55 ounces. So not a big difference at all, but there you have it. 
And what I considered the last downgrade here is going to be the actual handle material. The original Gordon knife has a nicely patterned G10 handle, a lot of texture, easy to grip onto. Uh, it's not quite, you know, cold steel G10 grippy, but it's close. The new Gordon knife though has a smoother handle and I cannot quite get a tell on it. Is it G10? Is it FRN? I've seen quite a few budget knives over the years that use this style of FRN that really closely mimics G10 in appearance and in texture, but it's not actually G10. And I cannot see any mention of G10 in the item description, whereas the original Challenger proudly advertised a G10 handle on its packaging. So it's telling there. So where the two knives here are still closely related are where it comes to the same black steel liners. Uh, the pocket clip itself is the same pocket clip and it is still four-way reversible. So good work there. And uh, despite the upgrade to the ball bearings in the pivot, the original Challenger with these Teflon washers, it actually flips pretty nicely. So all it really needs is the occasional few drops of Tough Glide and the pivot slicks right back up and into action. The lockup on the liners are both identical on both knives. Neither knife has any play or wiggle in the open blade. And here you can take a look at the centering of the knife as well. Excellent on both knives. And while we have the new Gordon knife out, I'm going to go ahead and swap out the pocket clip to tip up right hand side carry. And we can also get a glimpse here to see if these screws are going to be Loctited in or if they're going to be prone to stripping out. I do recommend if you do this, please be sure to use quality Torx bits like this Weha T6. And before we finish up though, let's make a few quick com size comparisons to some other knives as well. So the two knives we're going to look at in this video are going to be the Kershaw Blur and the Benchmade Mini Griptilian. So let's check those out. Uh, so in the end, there is one more thing left to compare, and that is the price. So the new Gordon pocket knife was on sale in my local store for $9.97, I think it was, and it's currently $7.99 at the Harbor Freight website. The older Gordon Challenger at my local store was on clearance for $7.97. So in the end, who wins? I think the correct answer here is for this price, just go get both. You know, best compromise you can make and you get the best of both worlds. Let me know what you think in the comments, everybody. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.